It is a golf cart getaway. The unusual crime now has grabbed the attention of Metro. And 13 investigator reporter Joe Bartels shows you why crooks are targeting golf carts. They're cheaper than a car and convenient to drive. Golf carts are popular around Sun City Summerlin, but as we've learned, some thieves are apparently stealing them to flip for cash. That's what $4,000 sounds like being stolen in the middle of the night. It happened last week. A golf cart swipe from Intermountain Golf Carts near Lake Mead and Rampart. Uh, it's pretty frightening. That's, it's scary to know that it's so close and people can just come up and take whatever they want that doesn't belong to them. This employee at the nearby nail salon is spooked for her safety by the break-in. She has her finger on the pulse of the community and her clients are worried too. The surrounding area is a retirement community and people, are, they're afraid. You know, people are, are stealing things and, and it's very frightening to them. According to golf cart store employees, someone broke in through the front window, grabbed the keys and drove off around 1:45 in the morning. The golf cart goes for somewhere between 3,500 and four grand. Employees say thieves typically scrub the serial numbers to try and flip the cart for cash. And in a retirement community where fixed incomes and golf carts are plentiful, a cheap golf cart will have plenty of buyers. It's very fun to watch them pull up in their golf carts to come, you know, into the, the shopping center to either, you know, just go shopping or take their dogs to be groomed or whatever they're going to do. 13 investigates asked Metro Police about the crime and we are told the information was part of an ongoing investigation, but authorities confirmed there are other golf cart thefts, but unable to provide how many. Golf cart store employees say they've heard of carts stolen from the community center and from a nearby grocery store shopping center with golf cart parking. Employees hope the thieves are caught before anything escalates. Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.